Welcome everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Elizabeth Crawford and I'm going to share with you information today about digestive health and how to optimize your digestive system by using essential oils and other products from doTERRA. This is a topic that I am super passionate about. I have over the years discovered that a lot of my health conditions were uh, caused by imbalances in my digestive system and I learned through using doTERRA essential oils and other products as well as through this amazing community of wellness advocates in the doTERRA community I was able to balance things out and eliminate things like skin rashes, digestive pain, um, overproduction of mucus which caused chronic sinus infections so this is super um, really important to me and I'm so glad I'm able to share it with you and hopefully you can have some takeaways and change up some things maybe with your lifestyle and also get results like I did. Um, so a lot of these products and oils I am completely helpless without and I'm so thankful and fortunate that doTERRA has brought them into my life and again I just hope that you will be able to reap the same benefits. So let's get started. This is the doTERRA Wellness Pyramid. It is the foundation of good health. You're probably familiar with it if you have been working with somebody uh, in the doTERRA community, another wellness advocate. The thing that's really important and cool about this pyramid is anything from the dotted line down can be managed uh, with lifestyle and uh, choosing natural solutions. Um, so by reducing your toxic load, optimizing rest and managing stress, exercising and eating right, you're able to eliminate 80 to 90 percent of health conditions and health concerns that are typically managed with medical attention and or medication. So super, super important to keep this bottom part of the foundation a focus when making decisions for yourself and your family. Um, now, when we don't manage our lifestyle, we wind up leaning towards an ambulance type of mentality where we're running around kind of putting out fires and putting band-aids on symptoms without really getting down to the root cause of what's causing those irritations in your life. Um, doTERRA seeks to manage things in a more holistic way, a more modern way where we're looking at the root cause and those root causes can be managed by taking control of this bottom part of the pyramid. So really, um, just a great tool to give you a little bit of power back so that you can troubleshoot things on your own and manage things um, naturally without any toxic load, without any addiction or buildup in your system or disruption of gut flora. I know a lot of times when we have antibiotics to manage uh, any sort of bacterial infection that we have, a lot of times we get very disrupted gut flora and candida overgrowth, which can lead to yeast infections and just gut discomfort in general, which is difficult to repair. So paying attention to this foundation is an awesome way to go about managing your lifestyle. And we're gonna talk about eating right today. And we're gonna even touch on a little bit of reducing toxic load. So let's carry on here. The digestive system. The digestive system is nothing short of amazing. <laughs> it chews our food, we digest and absorb nutrients, and then we expel waste through this system. It is a 30 foot long tube, and it's hard to, it's hard to think of it that way because it is so complex, but really it's, it's a tube that is continuous from as they might say, the rooter to the tutor, so from your mouth down to your rectum and everything in between. It is considered, and I find this really interesting, to be an exterior part of your body because it is constantly coming in contact with exterior substances, which are food, sometimes toxins, sometimes pathogens, and that long 30-foot tube is very dark and very moist. So you can imagine it would be a hotbed for bacteria and fungus to grow. Um, so it's really, really important. And it's 
kind of makes a lot of sense that our immune system, a huge portion of it would exist within our digestive system because it's really the front line of defense. And it serves in a way where it is protecting the rest of the body. So when pathogens and different toxins come into our digestive system, the rest of our body needs to be protected in the digestive system. Not only does it absorb toxins and, and expel them, it blocks them from your important organs like your brain, uh, your heart, and everything else that you have going on in there. The digestive system is made up of your mouth, your esophagus, that's the long tube from your mouth to your stomach, your stomach, your small intestines, your large intestine, and then the rectum. The mouth chews, the esophagus helps aids in swallowing, the stomach mixes your food with digestive juices, and sometimes your food is held in your stomach up to two hours long. Small intestine, is more for mixing your food with digestive juices of the pancreas, the liver, the gallbladder, and intestine, and pushing food forward for further digestion in the large intestine. In the large intestine, the goal there is mostly absorbing water and whatever nutrients are remaining and changing the remaining waste into stool. And then the final stop is, as you know, the rectum, where we, um, it, the, before it's expelled, the waste is actually stored and then um, it exits your body. So a very busy little system we have. So the digestive system, like I said, is considered to be an exterior surface. Really kind of interesting to think of it in that way. It makes up 60 to 70% of our immune system. Over 100 million neurons exist in our digestive system, which is why it's so key for mental and emotional health for us to have a balanced nutrition, um, digestive system. There is a proven connection between stress and anxiety and gut disorders like Crohn's disease and IBS. Um, bacteria outnumber our cells 10 to 1, so that's another important factor in our digestive system that we really need to keep balanced in order to keep the system functioning properly. And then again, because it's so closely related to our mental health and our emotional health, bacteria have a really big impact on how we're feeling um, both physically and emotionally. The digestive system um, can be optimized by implementing good nutrition, by supporting elimination, by removing harmful bacteria, and introducing both prebiotics and probiotics into your digestive system. And we're gonna talk about all the different options that you have for that in the coming slides. So what you want to do, the, the goal is to start with good nutrition. That means no processed foods. For some people, it might mean eliminating dairy, eliminating gluten. You know, everybody's different. We are really bio-individual. Uh, one person's diet is another person's poison. So you want to get very in tune with how you feel after you've eaten a meal. And I would even say it would be smart to go so far as to journal it. You might be feeling discomfort and just passing it off as your normal. And the truth is that gas, bloating, stomach pain, irregular bowel movements, those are things that are the sign of dysbiosis in your gut um, or in your digestive system. That is not your normal. Your normal is to feel good and to have easy digestion. So Taking good notes for yourself, if you do it for a week or if you do it for a month, it will be eye-opening and you'll start to recognize, oh, maybe when I eat bread, I feel sluggish afterwards or I feel bloated afterwards. Uh, and that can be eliminated by eliminating the irritating foods that you're eating. So something to just keep on your radar, I highly, highly recommend doing that. So you want to start with good nutrition and then the next step is to clear the path, the primary pathways of elimination. So waste and toxins can be eliminated. And from there, you wanna use essential oils specifically targeted to help remove harmful bacteria. Take a good prebiotic to, 
to encourage growth of good bacteria and ingest a probiotic to repopulate the gut with live strains of helpful bacteria. This will help to reestablish balance and it can literally be life-changing. Some discomforts that you may have already um, become aware of are listed here. Heartburn, appetite issues, constipation, bad breath, burping, cirrhosis, sensitivities, leaky gut syndrome, lactose intolerance, liver toxicity, nausea, ulcers, yeast, yeast overgrowth, pain, gas, bloating, diarrhea, and nutrient absorption. Those are all um, red flags that indicate that there's something off in your digestive system. So you want to pay attention to your body and recognize that it's trying to communicate to you um, what's going on. So <laughs> if we're going to optimize digest digestion, we really do want to start with the mouth. That's, um, that's where food enters our 30-foot tube, and it's the beginning of breaking down foods. So in your mouth, your teeth, uh, and by, through chewing, by a chewing action, you are breaking down food into smaller particles um, on a physical level, and then your mouth also releases enzymes which break down your foods on more of a chemical level because Components of food need to be incredibly tiny so that they can be put to work in, and metabolized into our system. So the, the start of the whole process is chewing and releasing enzymes in your mouth. Um, I know a couple ways that you can optimize your mouth is through oil pulling, using a tongue scraper, flossing, hmm, brushing, and using a mouthwash. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go into detail on each one of these because um, I think they're all equally important for various different reasons. So oil pulling is really kind of a cool thing that you can do. Um, I prefer to use coconut oil. You can choose other oils. Uh, I know there's um, different types of options, like really any type of oil you can think of, but they do have each one of them a different health benefit. I prefer the coconut because of, of its antimicrobial properties, um, but you can also do something like castor oil, safflower oil, avocado oil, cod liver oil. There's tons of different options. Um, coconut oil is my go-to. I really like it. So. It's super easy. You want to do it in the morning before you've had anything to eat, um, not even water. And um, so what you do is do a tablespoon or two of the oil in your mouth and then add a couple drops of an essential oil of your choice. And you want to choose the essential oil based on what your goals are um, with your mouth. So if you have teeth pain or tooth pain, you might want to choose clove essential oil. Uh, Melissa essential oil is just an amazing oil for so many reasons. It helps with anxiety. It also is super strong antiviral, so that's, that's a good option. Frankincense is something that I use under my tongue regularly, um, so adding it into your, your coconut oil and swishing is um, not a bad option. Other things that you can choose for more of a minty, tingly, like more, um, more of a flavor that you would associate with dental hygiene, you can go for peppermint essential oil, wintergreen. On Guard's really great because it, is, um, it boosts your immune system. And then it also has clove in it, which is known for helping with uh, mouth and teeth issues. Um, lemon eucalyptus. Lemon oil is super refreshing. And with the coconut oil, it has like this really yummy flavor mixture. Um, cardamom, copaiba, all awesome oils for oral health. So what you wanna do is your two, uh, one to two tablespoons of the oil in your mouth and then a couple drops of an essential oil. And then you have to be quiet for 15 to 20 minutes and you will close your mouth and swish using your tongue and your cheeks to pass the liquid through your teeth and all around your mouth. And for beginners, this could be kind of tiresome to the muscles of your mouth. So you might, um, you might only do 
10 minutes for your first go and then work your way up to 15 or 20. Now, while you're doing this, um, the coconut oil and essential oils help to pull toxins transdermally uh, right out of your blood, which is awesome if you suspect that you may have been exposed to anything like heavy metals or if you work in an, an environment where you're constantly exposed to different chemicals. Um, for instance, like maybe a, a hair salon or a nail salon or somebody who's in construction, we are constantly bombarded by toxins through the air we breathe, the products we put on our skin, um, even you know what we wash our clothing in or the carpets in our house, the air quality in our homes and, and places that we work. So we're constantly being exposed to different toxins. And this is a great way to help cleanse that out of the body. Um, people have felt different types of relief from this, this practice, including um, relief from migraines, correcting hormone imbalances, uh, even reducing inflammation from arthritis. It, it can help to reduce symptoms uh, associated with bronchitis. It helps regulate normal kidney function. It can help with sinus congestion. Um, and even, even improve your vision. It's one of those miracle um, just things that you can add into your daily lifestyle to give yourself a leg up on your health um, totally naturally. Uh, so when you're done oil pulling after 15 or 20 minutes, I just wanna caution you too, you don't wanna spit this out into your sink uh, because especially with coconut oil, it is solid at room temperature. So you could create an issue in your plumbing um, with a little bit of clogging. So be mindful to spit it out in the garbage. That is my word of caution. All right, so tongue scraping. This is something that I have incorporated um, maybe like maybe about three years ago. I'm obsessed with this. Uh, and I just won't, uh, I would not start my day without tongue scraping. It is an Ayurvedic practice. Um, and it is, uh, you can see here the tongue scraper is a copper color. That's because it is made from copper. Copper is very antimicrobial and can kill so many different pathogens. So you wanna look for one that is made of copper. They're very inexpensive. You can get these on Amazon for, I think I saw something crazy like, like 10 for $20. I don't know, you don't need that many of them. They're very inexpensive is my point. Um, I, I seriously just have one. So I don't think you need many of them. One is good enough. And this is another practice that you will do in the morning. So I, if I, haven't uh, done the oil pulling. I do floss, toothbrush, mouthwash. And then the last thing I do before I can consider myself done is to scrape my tongue with this. And you go so far back as the, the well, right before the large taste buds, you don't want to scrape the large taste buds. That would be painful. And it's, this is just a really great practice to um, identify your health through what your tongue looks like. So I don't know if you've ever been exposed to information on this before, but um, if your tongue has like a coating or a different texture, it's usually an indication of an imbalance in health. And that's a, probably a whole other um, lecture that we could get into, but I would encourage you to research information on that. Or if you felt like your tongue is a little funky looking, um, you can easily just Google like what's going on with my tongue. And you'll, you'll learn so much about um, its relation to the different organs of the body. So um, tongue scraping, the, the reason why you really want to tongue scrape, though, is because when you sleep at night, your mouth um, releases its dead skin cells off your cheeks, off your tongue. Um, there could also be leftover particles that you didn't get when you brushed or flossed, and they kind of accumulate on your tongue. It's kind of like the carpet. <laughs> if that's gross, it, it, it should be. But that, that's why I'm making the analogy. It would be like if you uh, were very diligent about cleaning the windows in your house and dusting the furniture and maybe you know getting the cobwebs out of the corners of the ceiling, but you never cleaned your floor, you never vacuumed your floor. Um, imagine if you did that. It would be 
pretty grimy. So that's kind of what's going on on your tongue. You don't want to ignore it. It's a really important part of your, your oral and dental health. Um, also, and I'll talk about this. I mean, this goes with um, flossing as well. Little known fact, if you floss and you tongue scrape, it will help to reduce cravings. Because if you have food residue or leftover food particles in your mouth, your brain is, is recognizing that taste and it knows that it's there and it's telling your body that you're eating or that you're hungry. And it triggers um, a stomach response like you're about to digest food. So it kind of increases those uh, cravings. So keeping your mouth clean, um, maybe even flossing after lunch so that you can eliminate cravings in the afternoon hours of the day, it's not a bad idea. You might be that person who flosses at the office bathroom, but um, it's for your health, so don't be embarrassed. Um, so yeah, I've definitely, um, you wanna be flossing your teeth as well for reasons that I just mentioned. Leftover particles in uh, your teeth can trigger cravings, but not to mention, if you're not flossing, you are going to be building up plaque, which leads to tartar and de deterioration of your teeth. No teeth. <laughs> it's very difficult to chew your food. Um, so you just want to make sure you are taking good care of your mouth so that it all works the way it should. Uh, now, doTERRA has an amazing, amazing toothpaste as well. It's on guard and it's fluoride free. And it's a cinnamon and mint flavor, and it's uh, it does have xylitol in it, which is a sugar alcohol, so that it's it does have a little bit of sweetness to it, um, but it's not sugar sugar, so you don't have to be concerned about that. Um, this kills germs, it boosts the immune system with its on guard oil, and then it also whitens and gently polishes your teeth. And then the mouthwash is amazing. Um, you want to use it after flossing and brushing and if you're doing the oil pulling. And it's a natural alcohol-free formula, which reduces plaque and brightens your smile. And it's very, very tasty. I do recommend it. All right, so for the upper GI, um, that's going to be your stomach esophagus uh, area. You, these are some of the oils that can help to optimize that part of your body. Um, so Tamer essential oil is the blend for, uh, uh, excuse me, digestive blend for children. And it's conveniently diluted so that it can be used topically. And I would recommend using this over their belly or if you are familiar with reflexology, which is very simple to understand if you, um, if you need to ex uh, explore more about that, I can share information with you or the person who introduced you to to doTERRA also has access to this information. So check in with them. Uh, reflexology is this cool practice where the point there are points on your feet, um, also on your hands and on your ears that are associated with different organs and parts of the body. So for Tamer, if your child isn't really thrilled about the idea of having it across their belly, uh, you can find the reflex point on the base of their feet and apply it there. Or if they're sleeping and you just want to sneak in and apply it on their feet under the blanket, um, they'll, they'll get their relief and you don't have to apply it to places that are maybe less convenient for you. So Tamer is a great option for small children. And to be honest, this is part of the kids collection, which I personally use. I love the blends that they put together. They are, uh, they're made to be a little bit more mild for delicate skin. And like I said, they're, they're already mixed in fractionated coconut oil. So you get that quick, easy absorption uh, and they just work really super effectively and they are very nice aromas. So that's something to consider if you have a little at home who has uh, any upset tummy issues, maybe even associated with anxiety or just um, has trouble with his tummy uh, or nausea, anything like that. All right, so Terrazyme is one that I swear by, and this is one that I pretty much can't live without. Terrazyme is a 
a blend of natural whole food enzymes. And these enzymes, what they do is they help you to break down your food and break down different, um, typically more challenging parts of food to digest. So we do produce enzymes ourselves, our body produces it. So metabolically, we do produce enzymes. However, over time, the older we get, uh, the less enzymes we produce. Um, and it's something that we definitely want to supplement with as we get older. When we supplement with whole food enzymes, you're able to break down the food into smaller particles so that when it enters the, uh, the small and large intestine, the particles are in a in a more convenient form for your body. They're smaller so that they can be um, even further broken down so that you can get all the nutrients out of your food. So you may be experiencing a lack of enzymes if you are feeling like you're um, maybe hungry very soon after you've eaten. That might be an indication that you're not absorbing as many nutrients from your food as um, you really need to. Sometimes you might be experiencing uh, skin rashes. This is an indication that you have an irritation in your uh, large and small intestine, which you may have heard it referred to as leaky gut syndrome. Um, and typically what happens is the food isn't breaking down enough and then you're getting uh, a little bit of a breakthrough of um, digestive response into your system. So this can also help with that. Um, Terrazyme has helped me immensely with bloating. Uh, and it, it's used for things like poor nutrition, heartburn or indigestion, slow metabolism, upset stomach, bloating, and flatulence. It helps to break down protein, carbohydrates, starches, sugars, fats, lactose, complex fibers, fruits, vegetables, fructose, glucose, gluten, starch, and also um, there's peppermint, ginger, and caraway in the blend. So it really, really helps to relax your stomach. So there's metabolic enzymes which create all the functions of the body. And when we have less digestive enzymes, our body uses metabolic enzymes to digest your food, taking away from the, the functions um, that they normally do, like produce hormones, aid in thinking and reasoning, absorbing oxygen. Uh, enzymes are involved in all functions of the body. So if you do take a uh, terazyme on an empty stomach, this is a little side note, it will help to support tissue repair, and it will even help to digest cysts and growths um, within your body. So terazyme is kind of like this miracle supplement. Um, definitely something you want to have on hand uh, for various different reasons. It's just so awesome. All right, then there's the Digest that Digest Zen soft gels and Digest Zen digestive blend. And then you see I also have here an image of the roller bottle. This is a blend of essential oils that help to aid in digestion. Um, they basically promote digestion. You can use this for upset stomach, constipation, diarrhea, IBS, vomiting, heartburn, acid reflux. It has in it ginger, peppermint, tarragon, fennel, caraway, coriander, and anise. Um, some of those oils you're probably familiar with. Um, they're kind of like old wives' tales to you know just chew on a little bit of ginger if your stomach's upset. So it's a really nice natural way to be able to manage your symptoms without having any adverse side effects that a lot of the pharmaceutical products out there have. Um, Digestin, I swear by, and I've had so many people that I work with thank me for introducing them to Digestin because they're able to manage things like IBS, which can be very, very upsetting to your, your, um, your everyday life. So keep that on your radar if you think that is something that might work for you. Uh, and then fennel is also another oil that helps relieve indigestion and many other stomach issues. Uh, ginger 
If you have ginger alone, that's a great oil to soothe stomach upset and ease indigestion. Peppermint alone supports healthy gastrointestinal function and aids in digestion. Coriander eases occasional upset stomach. Celery seed is a really cool one. This one it helps to um, really support healthy mucosal linings. So every lining in your 30 foot tube of your GI system is a mucus lining. Um, it is really, really important that these linings are intact and functioning optimally so that we can pass good, um, good nutrients and good parts of foods into our system and pass out all the stuff that we don't want in our system. So it's important that, that those linings are super, super healthy. Celery seed can help with indigestion, flatulence, diarrhea, poor appetite, kidney, bladder, or gallstones, ulcers, GERD, um, and like I said, stomach lining issues. Really, really cool oil. I have Copaiba on here because it is amazing for just so many things. I personally have used Copaiba for uh, discomfort in my stomach, and it. I'm going to introduce to you another oil on the next page, which has kind of taken its place in, in some ways. Um, just on a digestive level, but I was using Copaiba for pain in my stomach for um, ever since they came out with it about two, maybe it was three years ago. Um, Copaiba is also really great for aiding in digestion, but it's an amazing oil for pain and discomfort as well. So keep that one in mind. I think I covered all of them. So let's get down into the small and large intestines. That's um, further down in your GI system. And these products have been just so amazing for me personally in helping to balance my, my digestive system. So let's start with GX Assist. So GX Assist, is a supplement made of caprylic acid and oregano. And this supplement helps to make the gut unfriendly to harmful bacteria, otherwise known as um, candida. So it decreases the overgrowth of pathogens in the gut, thereby increasing gut integrity and creating a healthy environment for new good bacteria to thrive. Um, this is something that's incorporated into the cleanse that we will be doing in January. Uh, it's a supplement that you would take only 10 days at a time. Uh, and it does help to create a better environment for healthy probiotics and prebiotics, which would be your next step associated with PB Assist. Plus, this is your probiotic. And what's unique about our probiotic is you can see in the image here, those green little supplements, that is a, pro, a probiotic suspended in prebiotic fluid. Prebiotics are high fiber um, particles or elements that the probiotics feed on. That's why we say that if you want to improve your gut health, you want to increase the amount of vegetables and fiber that you're consuming. The reason is that your probiotics, which remember, they outweigh our cells in the body 10 to 1, we want them to be super healthy, so we want to feed them uh, what is an important part of their diet, which are probiotics. Now, probiotics come from, or I'm sorry, prebiotics. Prebiotics are found in heavy amounts or in high amounts in um, high fiber foods like cabbage. Uh, you'll find prebiotics in leafy greens, in bok choy. Um, so if you're eating a rainbow of different vegetables and leafy greens, you will ensure that you're getting enough prebiotics uh, to help your probiotics flourish. But once we've flushed out all the bad bacteria by using GX Assist, we wanna really make sure that these probiotics have everything they need to survive once they get down into your lower GI. And that's where we want them. This capsule is formulated so that it doesn't digest in your stomach, which a lot of over-the-counter 
um, or drugstore probiotics that you can purchase out in the market are, um, they're not super effective because they digest in your stomach, which is part of the upper GI. And we want these probiotics to be healthy and flourishing down in our lower GI. So the PB Assist has that all going on. It has both the probiotic and prebiotic, and then it's encapsulated in a way so that it doesn't digest until it gets down where we need it most. PB Assist is something that you can use as a regular regimen. Um, you, you don't want to use it if you're using GX Assist. Uh, you want to hold off during that period and then reintroduce it after you, you've uh, done your 10-day um, series of GX Assist. Um, and this helps to bring balance to your gut, and that's what this whole thing is about. So if you have ever um, had an antibiotic, eaten sugar, drank alcohol, or had any sort of medications in general, that creates an environment for the bad bacteria to get really strong and take over the good bacteria and create a dysbiosis or an imbalance. Um, so it's, it's really important um, for us to do kind of like regular maintenance. Some people like to do this quarterly or twice a year. I definitely recommend at a minimum doing it once a year. Uh, to ensure that everything is back in balance. Uh, you might wanna do it if you've been feeling sluggish or if you have um, skin irritations that you can't explain. Uh, a lot of times an imbalance in the gut can manifest as migraines, as pain and discomfort, irritations on the skin, mood imbalances. Uh, so if you are feeling just a little bit out of whack, uh, it might be a good idea to do a, your GX assist and PB assist cycle. Um, so, and we have a couple other pro products here that are really helpful for gut balance. Uh, citronella essential oil helps to kill candida. You don't want to take this one internally. It is meant to be used topically only, but it is great for fungal bacterial conditions of the intestine and urinary tracts and prostate. Um, digestive and intestinal inflammation, reaction to spicy foods, and poor secretion or release of hormone enzymes. Um, again, you would use this topically over your stomach, and it can be diluted if you prefer. Um, I, I'm able to use it neat, uh, but if you have particularly sensitive skin, you would want to try to uh, try it first with dilution. And this is another oil that you can apply to the correlating area on the balls of your feet or the bottom of your feet. Um, citronella is um, a really nice oil, just introduced this past year, and it's becoming a staple with my oil use. So we also have PB Assist Junior here. That's gonna be your probiotic and prebiotic for kids. Um, it is in these little sachets. So one packet uh, can either be just taken directly in your mouth. It's really, really tasty. It's a yummy strawberry melon flavor, or it's easily incorporated into water or juice or smoothies. Um, this is something that I also use. It is not a bad idea to mix up your probiotics so that you're getting different strains and really um, really diversifying the gut flora. So I will switch from PB Assist to PB Assist Junior on and off um, because it's perfectly suitable for adults as well. And it's super yummy, so you get to feel like a kid when you use it. Okay, now peppermint. Soft gels are the supplement that I cannot live without, and I'm so thankful doTERRA introduced them this past fall. I always have these in my LRP cart. They are, like I said, a complete staple in my house. So basically what this is, is it's also in a coating that doesn't digest until it gets down into your lower intestines, and that just, you can see it right on here, it says 60 enteric coated soft gels. Enteric just means of or relating to the intestines. So anytime you see that word, you know that it digests in your lower GI. 
in your intestines versus your stomach. Um, so for me, I do experience, uh, when I've eaten certain types of carbohydrates that are difficult to digest, I do experience pain in my lower right abdomen. And I'm so thankful that I've learned what those foods are so that I can avoid them. But when I eat them without knowing it, or if we go out to eat and I can't avoid it, I will wind up with a little bit of stomach pain. So the peppermint enteric coated soft gels are a godsend. <laughs> they take the pain away within uh, 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and it's just so amazing for me because for a long time, the only thing that was helping with that pain was ibuprofen. So, and, and that would make me really nervous to use because I know that that can irritate your stomach linings and over time, cause uh, ulcers. So that was really um, just really frustrating for me, especially uh, being so focused on using holistic and natural options. I always felt horrible every single time I, I had to use it. Now I'm able to use the peppermint enteric coated soft gels. They've literally changed my life. Um, so if you are experiencing Anything in the lower GI, um, this is going to be something that you really want to try. And peppermint essential oil is amazing as well, used topically, but this just gets right down to the exact place of the problem. So enteric coating for small intestine delivery, where it is most effective for specific concerns, including IBS, Crohn's disease, and colitis. So just keep that in mind. Um, or if you know somebody who could benefit from it, it's just amazing. And it's, it's not a pharmaceutical, so you're not going to get a, a toxic um, buildup in your system. It's not dangerous. It's not addictive. It's, it's just amazing. So please you know, consider that. Or if you know somebody who could benefit from it, spread the word. So let's talk about our accessory organs for a minute. Um, they include the gallbladder, the pancreas, the liver, and they're not a main part of the 30-foot tube. That's why they're called accessory organs, but they do help to aid in digestion, and they help to create a lot of different hormones. So keeping this in balance is um, good for your overall health in general. So the Zendocrine Complex and the Zendocrine Soft Gels, I'll just talk quickly, well, <laughs> I will talk about how the soft gels and the complex are different, but then also similar in some ways. So the Zendocrine complex is herbal. This complex is a proprietary blend of 14 active whole food extracts in a patented enzyme delivery system that supports healthy cleansing and filtering functions of the liver, kidney, colon, lungs, and skin. The top uses for this product are toxic liver, jaundice, cirrhosis, bloating, toxic, toxic gallbladder, pancreatitis, kidney damage, respiratory issues, color issues, and constipation. So color issues referring to um, the color of your skin. If you are like with jaundice, you're getting a little bit of a, a yellowy skin tint. Um, now those are very ser serious issues and you obviously want to speak with your doctor if anything like that is happening. But this is something that can be uh, supportive to a program discussed with your doctor. So the, I like to think of the Zendocrine Complex as something that helps to cleanse the filter organs and support the health of those organs. So again, that's the liver, colon, kidneys, lungs, skin, gallbladder, and pancreas. Those are all your filtering organs. And you want to make sure that those are supported so they're getting the nutrients and nutrition and vitamins and minerals that they need so that they can function at their highest level. But also, they need to be cleansed because they're basically like the filter of the body. And if you never clean out your vacuum cleaner filter or never clean out your, um, your heating system filter or your air conditioner filter, what happens? stuff starts to break down and not function properly. So this is a great thing to incorporate into your life regularly just to keep everything working properly. But also if you're, go if you're doing a cleanse 
for example, if you're using the GX Assist, um, you want to make sure that while you're um, flushing all that crud out of your system, out of your GI tract, you want to make sure that your filter organs are clean so that you're not mucking it up and they're able to actually get out because you don't want them to be just stuck um, in a mucky filter. You want when you're releasing these pathogens and these toxins, you don't want them hanging around in your body. You want to make sure that your filter organs are clean and the pathway is clear so that they can exit your body. So that's the Zendocrine complex. The Zendocrine soft gels or Zendocrine essential oil. So this also comes in a 15 milliliter bottle, which is nice because you can apply it topically. Uh, and if you choose to use it internally, you would just want to get veggie caps. So then you have the option to do it topical and internally. So the Zendocrine soft gels is a blend of essential oils that support natural detoxification of the body to help cleanse it of toxins and free radicals that can slow your system down, leaving a heavy weighted feeling. This is also used for many of the same conditions uh, that the Zendocrine complex is used for. So toxic liver, jaundice, cirrhosis, bloating, toxic gallbladder, pancreatitis, kidney damage, and hormonal imbalances. So it has in it tangerine, rosemary, geranium, juniper berry, and cilantro. And I think it's worth talking about each of those oils and how they aid in um, detoxing and cleansing. So tangerine essential oil is an antioxidant and it's uh, cleansing properties for, it has cleansing properties for the liver and kidneys. So very targeted for liver and kidneys. Rosemary supports a healthy liver and gallbladder, as well as reduces xenoestrogens. So xenoestrogens are foreign estrogens found in plastics, growth hormones, and environmental toxins. Again, toxins that you're absorbing through uh, just normal everyday functions of breathing and eating and really just existing. Um, so rosemary helps to flush plastics out of your system. Um, growth hormones, and environmental toxins. Uh, geranium oil cleanses the liver, gallbladder, and balances hormones and rids the body of unwanted estrogens. So again, um, getting rid of foreign unwanted estrogens from the body, which do have the ability to mimic the estrogen in our body and create imbalances. Uh, juniper berry oil is a powerful detoxifier of the kidneys and decreases water retention. And then cilantro oil, powerful cleansing agent that eliminates toxins from the body, including heavy metals. Um, so heavy metals are found in our drinking water and can also be found in uh, canned foods. So it's, it's very common to come in contact with them and you just wanna make sure that you're supporting your body in a way where it can flush these out of the system because they can build up and compound in your body over time and create a lot of different health concerns. Um, you just wanna make sure you're mindful of that. So this is, um, a, these supplements are supplements that you can use on a regular basis or you can pair with the GX Assist and PB Assist uh, for a more thorough full body cleanse. Um, something to keep on your radar. And if you are um, up for it, we do a cleanse in January and it's, Something that I've done in the past, one of the first things I did with doTERRA, and it was life-changing for both me and my boyfriend, um, we picked up habits that have stuck with us all these years. It's got to be almost five years ago now, and we can attribute our current health to the things that we learned during that cleanse and the habits that we picked up. So it's definitely something I would recommend giving a try. All right, so there's so many different diets and I wanna to touch on that. I can't get into all of them because there's just too much information, but these are the top 25 diets that are out there currently. You might be familiar with some or uh, completely new to others. Uh, and I will just touch on a couple of them here. 
The ketogenic diet, um, also referred to as keto, is a, uh, a diet that is low carb and high fat. Um, when you restrict the amount of calories that you're consuming from carbohydrates and other, um, other types of nutrients, then the body goes to its secondary source for energy, which is fat. Now, the body would prefer to operate off of carbohydrates. It gives the body the quickest um, sh uh, shot of energy, which you know if you drink a soda, it makes you feel jittery and you get um, like excess energy, but it gets burnt off really, really quickly. Um, so when you're burning fat, it's a different story. It burns slower, it burns longer, um, and it, it does help to, I mean, you're getting your energy that you need, but you're burning off your fat stores, which helps to lose weight. Now the, the diet was put together for autism and seizures. So it was meant to be, um, not a lifestyle diet. I'll just go over the pros and cons for you really quickly. And the pros are it may prevent or lessen the frequency of seizures. It may allevi alleviate epilepsy. Um, it does restrict sugar intake, which is a good thing. And you can experience quick weight loss in some cases. Um, now the cons are it's not necessarily safe for people who don't exercise because ketones need to be released as energy. So you, if you're doing this diet, you need to make sure that you're, you're exercising so that you're using up the energy that's being creative, created. It may cause extreme fatigue during the first two weeks. Now, I think with any program that you start, there's bound to be discomfort in the beginning. Um, and a lot of people do, you've probably heard of this referred to as the keto flu. And that is your body shifting its metabolism and detoxing from sugars and releasing a lot of those, um, those built up toxins that can be associated with a carbohydrate diet and then shifting over to burning a different type of fuel. So you will experience a little bit of discomfort in most cases. Um, and another con is potentially bad breath and metallic tastes in your mouth, um, difficulty to maintain or extend for periods of time, uh, nutrient deficiencies common. You really do, I believe, want to keep um, a varied diet with vegetables and leafy greens. It's also, as I mentioned before, good for your gut health. This diet does have you avoiding high carb vegetables, high carb fruits, grains, beans, sugars, uh, trans fat and processed foods, and then including low carb vegetables, low carb fruits, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, dairy, nuts, seeds, healthy oils. Um, I would say that it, it can be done in a way where it is kind of meat heavy or animal protein heavy. Um, and if you can do it in a way where you're balancing um, the animal protein with fruits and vegetables and incorporating a little bit more fruits and vegetables, then it might be a little bit more manageable. But the goal of this is to get into ketosis and you do have to um, be pretty strict about your grams of fat versus grams of carbohydrates. So it's a fine line and that's going to be probably different for everyone. And again, paying attention to how your body feels uh, and reacting accordingly is um, always a good rule of thumb when working through any new diet changes. So the paleo diet, this one's really neat. The paleo diet includes vegetables, meat, poultry, fish, eggs, quinoa, healthy fats, fruits, and nuts. It's basically the ca caveman diet. Anything that um, early humans ate before the introduction of grains and legumes. Um, so you wanna avoid wheat, rye, barley, oats, brown rice, dairy, except for ghee and grass-fed butter, processed foods, artificially low-fat foods, sugars, fruit juices. Um, the pros and cons of this diet include whole food, uh, for pros, it's a whole food approach, which is 
definitely a good, a good thing that you want to look out for when choosing a diet. It encourages organic foods. It's low in sodium and high in potassium. It's high in fiber. Healthy fats contribute to optimal brain function. That's awesome. Uh, and low glycemic load may stabilize blood sugar and reduce cravings and binges. So the cons are high quality meats uh, may be expensive and difficult to obtain because that really is the focus of this diet is again, um, free range, grass fed, organic meats. Uh, and that can be difficult to obtain depending on where you live. Um, and also expensive depending on where you live. Some may do well on carbs, which is true. Uh, and like I said, everybody's body is different and introducing carbs to some diets are um, beneficial to some and maybe not beneficial to others. So that's where listening to your body comes into play. And uh, it's not really ideal, ideal if you're somebody who prefers vegetables um, or is vegan. You can't do this diet if you're vegan, basically. Um, all right, low FODMAP. So low FODMAP is what I use to uh, eliminate the pain that I was having in my lower right abdomen for years. I had it for like seven years. And doctors, doctor after doctor would do, do tests and say, I don't see anything. Everything looks normal. Um, it's probably just gas. Or I was even told, you know, you might just have um, a, a very sensitive stomach. And, you know, some people just feel their digestion more than others. And, and it might be painful to you. Um, kind of passing it off as you're, you're not dying, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but I was worried about it. You know, I, um, I had this pain going on seven years and it was um, difficult for me because it affected my quality of life. It would affect my mood. It's very difficult to um, tolerate things that are normally very tolerable when you're experiencing pain. And I think um, a lot of people probably know what that's like, but if you have never experienced chronic pain, um, then you might not understand um, where people are coming from in that aspect. So speaking for the people who have been experiencing discomfort ongoing, um, it's, it's just amazing when you can find a solution. And even better when you can find a natural solution. And diet is um, something that I, I discovered this diet on my own. This wasn't referred to me by a doctor. I just through research and listening to my body and trying different things kind of fell on this. And it was what really, really helped me. So the low FODMAP diet is, um, really kind of interesting. FODMAP stands for uh, fermentable foods, oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. Um, polyols are a type of uh, sugar alcohol. Um, so these are different categories of carbohydrates, and um, they can be very difficult for some people to digest. And because of that, they may cause gas, constipation, and bloating, which is <clears throat> basically the description of IBS. This diet can also be really good for anybody suffering from SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Um, and that's something I would highly recommend chatting with your doctor about if you haven't been tested for it, or um, if you're suspecting that you might have an issue with that. I, I, it's a conversation that you should for sure have with your doctor. and. I would even mention the low FODMAP diet. It's possible that they may or may not have heard of it, but it's a good conversation to start. So through the low FODMAP diet, you eliminate for a period of time um, each or all of the carbohydrate categories, the FOD, M, and P categories. And then, um, just like in any elimination diet, you reintroduce each category one at a time and you 
uh, evaluate how you feel. So if the symptoms come back right after you've reintroduced cauliflower, then you know that cauliflower is associated with um, one of the FODMAPs and you can simply just continue to eliminate that category from your diet. Whereas you might reintroduce um, garlic and find that that isn't a trigger for you at all. So in that case, then you know that you can um, continue to add back in all the foods from that category. Um, it seems very restrictive at first, but I will tell you this was um, once I got through the categories and reintroduction, this was less restrictive than what I had been doing previously, which was um, just eliminating all of the p potential triggers. Uh, so I was, I was eating a very limited diet and not getting a lot of results because um, some of the things that aren't typically known as triggers, like cauliflower, for example, I would be eating regularly or asparagus and apples and bananas. You would never expect that to cause any sort of digestive discomfort uh, for anyone because they're not known as triggers for sensitivities or allergies. Um, but with this, with this, somebody who can benefit from this diet uh, will also experience that everything in moderation is, um, or the different categories eaten in moderation will give you less symptoms than if eaten in larger quantities. Um, so it's cumulative, basically, if you are eating a lot of FODMAPs that irritate your, your digestive system, then you're going to have symptoms. But if you're not eating a lot of them and then you experience one or two of them, um, you're, you won't, potentially won't have any symptoms. So it can be very funny in that way to know what the threshold is. Um, this was really important to me finding my health. And I don't think it's super um, talked about a lot. So I wanted to just share the information with you. The pros are it can be a lifestyle rather than a diet. And that's, that's been true for me. I was able to hone down into the categories that bother me and don't bother me. And then I'm e easy, easily able to make decisions to avoid discomfort. Um, Pros include it may alleviate IBS and it could lead to weight loss. I mean, you do eliminate a lot of different uh, types of foods and it makes you very cognizant and aware of what you're eating and it may lead to increased energy. Um, so if you're, you're eating foods that are undigestible by, by your particular digestive system, um, you're going to feel low energy because you're not getting all the building blocks out of your foods to, to create um, everything that your body needs to do energy-wise and then um, with creating muscle and having enzymes for uh, your, your body functions, you're, you're just not gonna have everything you need. So the cons are, it's not a quick fix. It does take time and dedication. You do have to be diligent. Uh, and you have to be cognizant and aware of your body. So it does take some intuition. Um, and intuition is something that you 100% want to develop with your body. Uh, it may be too specific to follow long-term. Well, that's true because you, um, you do want to change your, the diet over time. Um, you don't want to eliminate everything and then never reintroduce because look at all the amazing foods you'd be sacrificing. There's just too many good um, food options in here. And a lot of them are considered prebiotics and are, are necessary for good gut flora. So you definitely wanna make sure you're re reintroducing. Um, and it does make it difficult to eat at restaurants and, and or social situations. And I've experienced this firsthand. Um, I could be going really, really well for like, let's say a month because I'm diligent about eating at home, preparing my meals and being very selective when we're out and about. But then if we go to a party and it's getting late and I'm hungry, I'm going to eat what's on the table and I will experience the pain. It will come back. So it, it is difficult to do outside of the home. But if you are sick of not feeling well, 
um, those are sacrifices that you will be willing to make if it's gotten to that point. And I know I've been there, so I think you can do it too. All right, blood type diet's really cool. Um, you've all heard of blood types, type A, B, A, B, and O. I'm a type A. This diet includes seafood, soy products, occasional poultry, fish, herbal teas, nuts and seeds, vegetables, fruit, some beans, olive oil, buckwheat, and low gluten or gluten-free grains. I do opt for gluten-free. Um, this is basically, you're looking at nuts, seeds, and veggies um, with a little bit of seafood. Uh, interesting thing about these diets is it's been said that they are associated with the evolution of humans. So the type A blood uh, diet is associated with our first uh, settlers, if you will, um, very similar to like the paleo diet um, with the elimination of, of grains. Um, and then we evolved into a, a different type of society, agricultural wise and farming wise. And we started introducing in the type B um, blood diet, you would introduce more seafood, goat and cow dairy, lamb. So you're introducing more animal proteins, um, all the while still keeping in seeds and, and nuts and vegetables um, and, some low gluten or gluten-free grains. So it's still not able to really tolerate gluten at this point. Um, and and you, it's very nut, seed, veggie, meat, low gluten. And then further evolving into AB, where we start to incorporate more farming. So hunter, gatherer, farmer, where again, it's uh, animal proteins with goat and, um, I'm sorry, oily fish, turkey, lamb, but also goat and cow dairy, so more animal products there. Um, also still including, and it's a trend, walnuts or nuts, seeds, veggies. Um, start introducing beans and legumes and some grains. Notice it's not specific about gluten-free or um, low gluten. So introducing more of that, the farmed products. And then type O, seafood, soy products, lean meat, organ meat, peanuts, vegetables, figs, plums, prunes, some beans and olive oil. Um, it's starting to introduce different types of um, fruits with figs and plums, really diversifying the, the fruit and vegetable area, very heavy on animal proteins, um, even introducing soy and olive oil. Uh, notice here though, there is the complete absence of gluten and grains and dairy. Um, so it's just neat to think of our evolution. We went from hunter-gatherer, hunter-gatherer farmer, um, more farm heavy, and then moving up into the mountains where it's hunter-gatherer, not really um, heavy meat, have heavy veggies, again, um, but not a lot of um, dairy or grains. So it's just an interesting evolution of what our bodies can tolerate based on where we come from in history. Um, so for me, I like to focus on listening to my body and reacting accordingly with the foods that I choose. <clears throat> I do lean more, um, more vegetarian and even vegan. Um, I like to follow this motto, eat food. And what that means is not processed foods or foods that have a lot of labeling or advertising on them. Mostly plants, meaning that if you were to look at my plate, I try to do more than, um, well, not more than, but like about 75% plant base on my plate, and then a little bit of animal protein. In fact, I'm moving into trying to only have animal protein in my uh, diet once a day, um, preferably for like a dinner meal, and then eating vegetarian for breakfast and lunch. Um, that is a plenty protein for me. And 
I'm leaning that way currently. Um, but I, I change my diet regularly just based on how I'm feeling or, and I like to try new things. Um, it, diets are just super, super interesting to me and it's fun for me to see how my body reacts to different types of diets. Uh, and then not too much. That's another part of this. So eat food, mostly plants, not too much. The not too much part is everything in moderation, which I'm sure you've heard before. Uh, and I think that's a really smart way to kind of summarize how to make your dietary decisions without having uh, really hard lines uh, to follow or really strict guidelines to follow. And don't forget to listen to your body. I kind of think of diets as a very personal thing, almost like a prescription, uh, like an eyeglass prescription. You wouldn't wear your girlfriend's eyeglasses. Um, she might be nearsighted and you're farsighted, and it's going to vary from person to person exactly how um, how much of a prescription you have. Diets are the same way. Um, it's nice to do things together. And I, <clears throat> I think that's great, but do keep in mind that the paleo diet may not be for you, or the keto diet might not be for you, um, especially if you're, let's say, like a, a, a blood type a, um, if you have the information about what your blood type is, it's a good idea to consider that and marry up your preferred diet to uh, a diet that is closely in line with those types of foods. Um, listen to your body. That's one of the most important things I can share with you. All right. So as much as it's uh, very, very important to make smart decisions with your actual nutrition because of over farming and um, the way animals are currently um, farmed and processed. It's very, very difficult to get all the nutrients that our bodies need from um, just from our diet alone. So it's incredibly important to supplement. And doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality is a supplement that has been life-changing for so many people, including myself. This supplement pack, um, it includes the Alpha CRX, the XE Omega, and the uh, Microplex MVZ. Your Microplex MVZ is all your vitamins and nutrients. Um, and it's not put together in a way where it has um, mega doses of any of the, the ingredients. It is actually um, made to supplement um, a, the standard American diet so that you're getting what we need um, based on what's lacking in our food system. So it's really, really, really uh, intuitively put together. It also includes um, whole food ingredients, which is one of the reasons why it is so easily digestible. Um, it is made from whole food ingredients uh, versus um, versus synthetic um, supplements that you would typically get at like a drugstore or maybe even the grocery store. The issue with supplements that are made with synthetics is that your body really doesn't know what to do with them. It's difficult to digest and it's difficult to put those nutrients to work because it doesn't really go with our system. So the, the, uh, natural whole food base is really, really important. Um, the Microplex MVZ is a revolutionary micronutrient supplement providing naturally balanced amounts of vitamins, minerals, trace elements, phytonutrients, and antioxidants that give your body the most beneficial and safe amounts needed for long-term health and vitality. The Microplex MVZ is used most frequently for low energy and fatigue, compromised digestion, and immunity, oxidative cell damage, malnutrition, poor health, and imbalanced nutrition. 
It has water soluble vitamins, um, including B and C. It has fat soluble vitamins, including A, E, and K. It has vitamin D, which as you know, in this area, we have extreme deficiencies of vitamin D. Uh, it's very important to supplement because of the lack of sun exposure that we have here through most of the year. Um, macro minerals, including calcium, iron, iodine, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, manganese, and chromium. Um, and these support and enhance bone strength and density, proper bowel health, muscle concentration, and release, fluid balance, nervous system health, cell function, immunity, antioxidation, and hormonal health. And then there's also polyphenols, including grapeseed extract, quercetin, rutin, pomegranate fruit extract, citrus fruit polyphenol extract, uh, Indian kino tree wood extract, and res veritrol. And again, this helps with free radical scavenging, decreasing inflammation, and increasing proper cellular function. And then the whole foods that are included in here are kale leaf, dandelion leaf, parsley leaf, spinach leaf, broccoli, uh, cabbage leaf, Brussels sprouts, um, and these help to make it much more digestible. It's a blend of whole food phytonutrients, which enhance digestion and absorption of micronutrients and give balanced nutrition. Uh, and then there's the, the tummy tamer blend in there, the ginger, peppermint, and caraway, and this helps to just calm and soothe the digestive system. So I've actually um, spoken with people who use this and they have immediately found that they have um, improved digestion. Um, and then the XE Omega, is part of the Lifelong Vitality pack. And in the XE Omega, um, we have uh, a blend of marine-based and land-based omega essential fatty acids in a unique assimilation capsule with essential oils and fat-soluble vitamins. Um, in here, you'll have fish oil from anchovy, sardine, mackerel, and calamari. Um, EPA and DHA essential fatty acids that support brain function and intense mood, heart and cardiovascular function, decrease LDL and triglyceride levels, increase attention, memory, concentration, joint health, skin health, immunity, and decrease inflammation. Um, also, we have Echium seed oil, which is a blend of ALA, SDA, and GLA essential fatty acids that support the cardiovascular system, decrease LDL and increase HDL triglyceride levels, balances inflammatory markers, enhances mood, brain, and skin health. Also pomegranate oil, which is a great antioxidant, vitamin A, also antioxidant, again, vitamin D, which is super important for supporting the immune system, enhances macro mineral absorption, hormone balance, muscle health, and increases cognitive function. Uh, vitamin E, great for your, your uh, cell health. Um, we have carotenoids, which promote cellular regeneration, heart and cardiovascular strength, and something called lutein, which is shown to increase strength of eyes, heart, and cells. And then Alpha CRS is going to be another supplement that really helps with fighting free radicals. Alpha CRS is packed with nature's most potent antioxidants, natural anti inflammatories, and energy cofactors. This blend of synergistic herbs will give life and energy to the cells and a sense of well-being to the body. Um, its top uses are for pain and inflammation, arthritis, osteoarthritis, fibromyalgia, foggy brain, cirrhosis, jaundice, cellular repair, fatigue, mood, and cancer prevention. It does have frankincense in it, which is an amazing anti-inflammatory. Um, it also has uh, milk thistle, which is a free radical scavenger. Resveratrol increases healthy cell proliferation and decreases free radical damage from cells. It has green tea leaf, pomegranate fruit extract, pineapple, which includes an interesting enzyme that's shown to decrease pain and inflammation. Turmeric, it has grapeseed extract, sesame seed extract, 
pine bark extract, and ginkgo biloba, which increases circulation to the brain and brings mental clarity. The three of these supplements together are amazing. For me, I experienced um, more energy throughout the day, less cravings because you're getting all the nutrients that you need and your body's not crying out um, if you're incorporating your proper nutrition. Um, also for me, these balance out my mood and you can understand why, knowing all the amazing ingredients that are included. It, it really is amazing when your body is supported, how your emotional state can be improved. Um, this has been a life-changing product for me. And for children, we also have the A to Z and IQ Megas. So you're going to be able to um, have the same sort of experience for your children. The A to Z chewable is a multivitamin, mineral, and botanical chewable for children and adults that have, <laughs> for adults that have difficulty chewing. So keep that in mind too. If you're somebody who doesn't like to swallow pills, the A to Z chewables are a great option and they are also very tasty. Um, I know that because I've tried them. Um, it's blended with antioxidants and herbal compounds that increase overall health and wellness. Um, it is full of A, C, D, E, and K vitamins, also a B complex, calcium, copper, iron, iodine, magnesium, manganese, potassium, and zinc, also very bio individual or bioavailable. And they lay the foundation for bone health and nerve cell function. Um, it also has superfood blends in it, including pineapple, pomegranate, lemon, spirulina, which is a really great um, fungus that is just an amazing antioxidant. Uh, sunflower oil, rice bran, beet greens, broccoli, brown rice, carrot, mango, cranberry, rose hips. I mean, come on, this is like an amazing bowl of delicious foods, <laughs> just packed with vitamins. Um, and then it also has a cellular vitality complex uh, of, it's made out of tomato, turmeric, boswellia, serrata, which is your frankincense, Grape seed extract, marigold flower, um, synergistic blend of natural anti-inflammatory, antioxidants, and cellular repair compounds. Um, so you, the kids don't have to miss out. And then the IQ Mega is, um, it's going to be the omega-3s for children. This product has both uh, EPA and DHA, which combine to make a balance of omega-3 essential fatty acids in fish oil form, blended with essential oils to bring a less fishy flavor and a more pleasant one. Um, this is for brain fog, ADD, ADHD, cardiovascular disease, dry skin, joint pain, arthritis, anything itis, so weak muscles, um, and a uh, uh, compromised immune system. So anything itis is like all the things that end in itis. It just means that they're inflamed. So IQ Mega helps with uh, reducing inflammation. Um, it's made from fish oil, which is from cod, um, safe, and haddock. It's a high concentrate of omega-3 fatty acids, exten extensively tested to ensure that oils are free of toxins and heavy metals, which is really important when you're choosing your omegas. Sometimes they can come from less expensive um, fish sources, which in many cases could be the byproduct of the fishing industry and riddled with heavy metals uh, so you want to be careful about where you're getting your omegas from. Well, they're, they're, they are necessary for um, supplementing into your diet. You do want to make sure that you're getting them from a reputable source. Um, and they're just so important because they support brain function, increase mood, heart and cardiovascular function, increase attention, memory, concentration, and skin health. And for small children who are just growing into their bodies, you wanna make sure that they have the foundation so that everything can function optim optimally. So there's some additional items that you can get from doTERRA that will help to support healthy digestion and nutrition. The Terra Greens are a great blend of whole food, green veggies and fruits. It's great to supplement into your diet. 
It's your daily intake of fruits and vegetables, um, and it's designed to be taken with water, or you can mix it into uh, a smoothie or juice. Um, I often would just put a, a scoop of it in a small glass of water and take it like a shot so I can get it nice and quick. Um, and it's a blend of leafy greens and superfruits. It's full of naturally occurring vitamins and minerals that provide important antioxidants. Um, and it's actually flavored with our lemon and ginger essential oils. It's tasty. Uh, and then we also have Trim Shake and V-Shake. These are meant to be meal replacements um, and it can be very helpful in a weight loss program. Um, we have several different flavors. There's vanilla and chocolate and forgive me for not knowing this, but we used to have orange and I, I'm not sure if we still have it. Um, and then we also have vegan options for anybody following a vegan lifestyle. Uh, we also have awesome ginger digestive drops, and these are to soothe your tummy, and they're really tasty. They're like a little bit of candy. Um, and also the Slim and Sassy products. So the Metabolic Blend is an essential oil blend that can also be purchased in the soft gel product. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't like the flavor, you might want to opt for the soft gels. Slim and Sassy is a wonderful product for slowing the absorption of sugar into your system. Um, so this is great for diabetics. This is great for anybody trying to stick to a diet um, and you're experiencing cravings. Um, you'd want to take the Slim and Sash Sassy um, within like an hour or two prior to when you would expect to feel those, um, those cravings. And it's just a, a really nice um, addition to your toolkit if you're working on trying to manage your weight. Um, Slim and Sassy, the oil is actually a main ingredient in a cellulite wrap where you actually mix um, a recipe of different essential oils together and then you literally wrap the area of concern. Um, so that might be like your thighs or your belly or wherever you are trying to reduce cellulite and you wear that for about an hour and Slim and Sassy actually has the ability to shrink your cellulite cells and I've seen this done before and people literally lose an inch. It's a, it's a visible and um, a measurable difference which is really really cool. Uh, so reach out to the person who introduced you to oils or you can hit me up if you want that recipe. Also we have the Slim and Sassy uh, metabolic gum and it has all the awesome benefits of Slim and Sassy but in a chewing gum format where if you are experiencing cravings you can just pop a piece of gum which is nice because it gives you that oral fixation um, satisfaction and it also is releasing those essential oils which will help to reduce your cravings so that might be something you want to add in. So a lot of this information um, is coming from one of my favorite books, which is called The Essential Life, and this is basically, I would say, arguably more important than having your essential oils, um, because it is basically the roadmap to using them for all the occurrences that come up and any sort of red flags you have with your health. It is full of education on the systems of the body and how to manage them in a natural way both with essential oils and doTERRA products, but also with good, smart lifestyle decisions. Um, another great book is The Modern Essentials, which is similar in content. Um, and I, I, I just recommend that you have something like this in your home so that you can hit this book up anytime something comes up. This book sits on my countertop, either in the bathroom or the kitchen. I am always accessing it. Uh, and learning something new from it. So highly recommended you have a tool in the house like that. Um, as far as other content that you can consume in this, um, this topic, I love Netflix for their documentaries. In Defense of Food is wonderful. If you feel like you're struggling with uh, what foods to eat, what's healthy, what's not healthy, this will help give you 
better guidelines so that you can make decisions easily. Um, it is one of the best documentaries I've watched, and I would say that it has changed um, my eating habits and then also Tom's eating habits as well. Um, hit that one up, it's awesome. The Game Changer is going to advocate for more of a plant based diet, and this is a, a newer documentary on Netflix. Highly recommended that you read it. It's good to, or I'm sorry, watch it. It, even if you are um, not super open to a vegetarian or vegan diet, it's just really interesting to see the science uh, and compare it to other information that you have. And then the magic pill is gonna advocate for more of a keto diet, uh, low carb, high fat. So the thing that uh, can be really frustrating about navigating different diets is that regardless of um, the diet, the, the science on both sides of the argument is sound. It's very rare in science that you can have completely opposed uh, scientific findings um, that are both true. So you'll watch the magic pill and think, oh, I want to do keto. That's amazing. And then you'll watch the game changer and you'll think, oh, I'm never eating meat again. <laughs> so I just encourage you to be educated. Um, I like to watch a couple minutes of a documentary before going to bed, just kind of get a little bit more information in. Or maybe you prefer to read. There's a lot of great books out there too. The Medical Medium by Anthony William and Liver Rescue by Anthony William are really, really eye-opening. Um, you can also listen to Anthony William on um, YouTube and you can follow him on Instagram and on Facebook. There's a lot of good information to uh, be had there as well. Um, and then for influencers, Dr. Raymond Veal is amazing and Dr. Mark Hyman are two of my absolute favorites. Dr. Mark Hyman is a functional medicine doctor and he addresses health concerns um, very, very holistically. He is wonderful to watch. I think that you'll uh, really, really like the content that he has to share. Um, and then if you're interested in le learning more about the uh, gut microbiome, there's a link here to a really nice article that I think you'll find informative. But the moral of the story is keep learning. Uh, you you want to, uh, when it comes to your health, you want to explore all the possibilities um, yourself because unfortunately, you, you do have to be your own advocate. The information isn't going to be delivered to you uh, in a way that's going to be perfectly uh, assimilated into your life. You're going to have to do a little bit of work and it's, it's great to be able to take ownership of that and feel the results. Uh, so we do have some really cool kits. Uh, if you're new to doTERRA, or should I say don't have a membership or haven't gotten started with doTERRA yet, this is a wonderful kit that includes some of the digestive support products that we talked about, as well as the lifelong vitality supplements. This kit includes a membership. And what's cool about that is it gives you 25% off of retail for an entire year. It also gives you the opportunity to earn uh, points that can add up and be used to purchase more oils. It also opens up the ability to earn free products uh, and take advantage of promotions, as well as even get free shipping. So do yourself a favor if you are ready to jump in uh, and see what this is all about. Reach out to the person who introduced you to oils and make sure that you talk about uh, enrollment kits. Um, and this Healthy Habits Starter Kit is a wonderful place to start. It does have your nutritional support, terazyme enzyme to help break down food and nutrients so that they're better absorbed, um, PB Assist, which is gonna help proliferate the uh, good healthy bacteria in your gut, on guard for immune support, 
lemon for cleansing your kidney and liver, and you can even make a DIY cleaner for the house where you can clean the countertops in the kitchen. You can use it to clean the bathroom. Super, super cleansing and disinfecting. Uh, then you also have balance to help balance out mood and also give you a physically grounded feeling. If you are feeling like you're untethered and just kind of floating about, balance will help to ground you. Frankincense essential oil is amazing for so many reasons. It's an anti-inflammatory. It passes through the blood-brain barrier and helps support brain health. It also is an amplifier. So you can use this oil um, with other essential oils to help amplify your results. Uh, and it's included in this kit, which is awesome. And then lavender essential oil, which is all things calming. That's going to be calming for skin irritations or hot skin or um, calming for the mind. So this is a great oil to apply to the balls of your children's feet at bedtime or include it or add it into your diffuser just to help you slow down and get comfortable and reduce mind chatter so you are prepared for a good sleep. This kit is a wonderful place to start. And then we also have the Cleanse and Restore kit. This is, um, this would be in line with most of the things that we talked about, uh, including the Lifelong Vitality Pack, GX Assist, PB Assist, and Terrazyme, and the Zendocrim products. It does also include the DDR Prime supplement, as well as lemon essential oil. Uh, and what this is, is it's going to help to establish a cleanse and restore environment in your body. What you will do, and I'll talk about it more in the Cleanse and Restore uh, month of January, you use the Lifelong Vitality as the foundation along with Terrazyme and the Zendocrin um, complex. So you would use that for 30 days. It's a 30-day supply. And then in the first 10 days, you use the detoxification blend, which is the Zendocrin soft gels. And then for the second set of 10 days, you incorporate GX Assist to cleanse out your GI tract of pathogens and candida. And then for the last phase, the last 10 days, you add in PB Assist and DDR Prime. And this restores your gut with good healthy probiotics and prebiotics. And the DDR Prime essential oil helps to restore the health of your cellular vitality. So it's a really, really great program. Uh, in January, we do it together as a group and you're super welcome to join us. This is also something that I would recommend doing maybe twice a year or as you're feeling uh, sluggish and like you need to cleanse. Uh, and then we have just some information about intentional shopping. So this is about the Loyalty Rewards Program, which I like to call Wellness Delivered. And that just means that you set up um, a cart of products that you would use for targeted support for whatever your health concerns are. And those items would be delivered to you on a specific day of the month, every month. Now, your needs might change from month to month, and this program's awesome because you can edit your cart based on what your current needs are. So that means that you can have as little as one PV in your cart, or as much as you like. Maybe it's an entire collection of essential oils. But it's entirely up to you. It's a choose your own adventure kind of program. Um, and as you use it, you earn a larger percentage of points. Now these points can be used to purchase additional oils uh, and those points accrue over time and you can trade them in for essential oils. So you would start off at 10%. So if you purchase 100 PV in your loyalty rewards program, you would get 10 points back. Now, over the course of time, that percentage goes up. And in order for it to go up, you would just do 50 PV for three months. And it doesn't even need to be in a row. It could be over the course of six months. 
Um, once you've done three months of 50 PV, that percentage jumps up from 10% to 15%. And then in another three um, orders of 50 PV, and again, that could be over the course of six months or two months or three, or not two, but several months is what I'm saying. Um, it will jump up again to 15%, then to 20, then to 25, then to 30. And at 30%, you're earning um, 30, 30 points back for every 100 PV that you order. And that's the same discount that essential oil educators and distributors get. So you're, you're getting the um, best discount possible. Um, to maintain your LRP on a monthly basis, you only need to have one point in there, and that could be as little as like a chapstick. Um, so on months where you don't really need a lot and you feel like you're stocked up, you can eliminate um, all the items in your cart just to one item. Um, or maybe that might even be a lemon essential oil, which is 11 PV. Um, so to earn points, um, the LRP just needs to be at 50 PV. To earn reward points and increase percentage, it has to be over 50 PV. To earn commissions, now this is a different um, pathway. If you are interested in uh, doing what I do and doing what the person who introduced you to oils does um, and become an essential oil educator, or to be somebody who wants to share oils with their friends and family and earn a commission for that, you would want to maintain your loyalty rewards cart at 100 PV. And then there's an even greater benefit. So every single month we have a product of the month. And that's usually an essential oil. Sometimes it's a product, but usually it's an essential oil. Um, and that oil or product is free. When you purchase 125 PV in your LRP before the 15th of the month. So, those first two weeks of the month, every month, you get an opportunity to get a product for free just for making healthy choices and purchasing good, clean products for you and your household. So, this is just really cool. I like to call it also intentional shopping because if you're using your loyalty rewards program, uh, to make purchases, you are typically buying things that you would maybe normally buy at the grocery store or a drug store. And instead of putting your dollars in the pockets of these big conglomerate pharmaceutical companies, you're, you're voting with your dollars and you're saying, no, I want clean products. I want to support a company who provides good, clean, healthy living and has awesome moral values. So that's something that you can do every day when you spend money and, and with loyalty rewards, you know that you're putting dollars into a company that supports um, small growers in other countries who, who typically wouldn't have a very sustainable or substantial income. It supports clean drinking water in third world countries. It supports education for young women who typically would fall behind in curriculum because of a monthly um, menstrual cycle. It supports so many amazing things. Um, and it's, it's just really cool to be able to vote with your dollars. And you're gonna try new habits. You're gonna swap out toxic products. And it's just, it's an awesome commitment to living a cleaner and healthier life. And you'll feel better and your family will feel better. Um, now, if you already have a membership, this is, these um, next options are going to be uh, for you. So you can also do the cleanse and restore collection. And it's 100, or I'm sorry, it's 175 PV for 245 and it's available in your, um, if you go to the kits and collections, this is gonna be under collections um, and you can do a one-time purchase or you can purchase this in your loyalty rewards program, which is preferred because you will earn lots of points on this order. So this is a 
a kit that's available for you only as an LRP uh, order. And it's very similar to the enrollment kit that I first showed, but it is available for anybody who currently has a membership. Um, and this would be under kits and collections, and then you would just go LRP kits, and it's called the Daily Habits. Another LRP kit only available in your LRP is the digestion kit, and this has with it the PB Assist Junior and PB Assist, which is nice if you want to sh um, share in the health with your children or if you want to swap um, your PB Assist and PB Assist Junior for yourself so that you're getting diversified gut flora. Um, that's a good idea too. Digest Zen helps to alleviate any digestive issues. Um, it's going to promote digestion. And then Terrazyme, again, is helpful for breaking down your foods um, when your body is not producing as many enzymes as it used to. Also really important if you're not getting a lot of um, uh, vegetables and um, less cooked type foods. So basically what happens is if you are eating a lot of processed foods and heavily cooked foods, it kills off uh, a lot of the dietary enzymes and you're not getting what you could be getting if you were to eat a more um, veg vegetable based, less cooked, less processed diet. Um, and then you have digest then topical application, digest then touch. This is good for you or the kiddos. I use this regularly. And then peppermint beadlets. Peppermint on its own is amazing for supporting digestive health. You can take these internally. It's a half drop of um, doTERRA's, di I'm sorry, doTERRA's peppermint essential oil. Um, it's only a half drop, so you can take a couple at a time. These are nice to have in your purse on the go, so you can just pop one in your mouth. I like to break it with my teeth and then swish to have like an on the go, um, sort of like a mouthwash. Um, really, really cool product. So this is awesome. Add this to your LRP, get lots of points and get healthy. Um, so we have a LRP kit for immune support as well, and you'll notice it has PB Assist Plus in it. And as mentioned, if your gut is healthy, it helps with um, a healthy immune system with so much of your immune system existing in your gut. This is a really important part of a healthy immune system. Copaiba, On Guard Plus, Breathe, On Guard Hand Sanitizing Mist, Oregano, and On Guard Essential Oil. Um, and also in your loyalty re rewards cart, you do have the option to purchase the Lifelong Vitality Pack. And then with that purchase, you can add um, targeted support options, including Terrazyme, PB Assist Plus, Deep Blue Polyphenols, Kids Vitamins, Microplex MVZ, XE Omega, and then Mito2 Max. Uh, and they're discounted. So instead of paying full price for each one of these options, you can get each one of these products for $20. Um, it's a really great way to get targeted support. So Lifelong Vitality is going to be your foundation. This helps with um, balancing out uh, all your systems and making sure that your organs are getting all the nutrients necessary. And then add on for, um, if you, you have digestive concerns, add in PV Assist and Terrazyme. You can add up to three. So sometimes I'll do two PV Assists and Terrazyme just to make sure I'm stocked up. Um, or if you are experiencing joint pain and discomfort, you would want to add in deep blue polyphenols. Um, these are an awesome anti-inflammatory with uh, turmeric and frankincense essential oils. Um, so if you're experiencing anything like that, that's a good partner product. Uh, and then if you're, you have small children and you are wanting to add supplements for them, there's the kids vitamins. If you're experiencing low energy, you can add in the Mito2 Max and additional Microplex MVZ, 
Um, and the XE Omega is going to be, if you're wanting to add those in, you can add in Microplex MVZ and XE Omega for a partner who's wanting to do supplements with you. It's just a really great way to stock up. Uh, lots of options there. So just a quick recap of the supplements that we talked about. If you want to pause the video and jot these down, you can do so now. And now I'm going to go on to the next slide. And here's a little oil recap of the oils that were discussed um, during this presentation. If you want to pause the video and jot these down, do that now. Okay. All right, so there's three lifestyle pathways that you can choose with doTERRA. Um, you can choose to be a user, a sharer, or a builder. People who are users are using oils for themselves and their immediate family. People who are sharers are choosing to use oils for themselves and share outside of their friends and family um, so that they can earn oils or compensation so that they can pay for their oils. And then somebody who is a builder is building a pipeline so that they can have a sustainable income and either supplement their income or completely replace their income. There is a lot of benefit to choosing the path of the sharer or builder. If you're interested in sharing, I would recommend that you reach out to the person who introduced you to oils and let them know that you have some people in mind that you'd like to share this information with. And you will be able to discuss um, how you'll be compensated if that's with uh, essential oils or oil products that you're interested in, or if that's with financial compensation. And then to be a builder is to do what I do and to do what the person who introduced you to oils does. And that is to build a pipeline of sustainable income. And you can see here, there's some different, um, these are from silver, gold, platinum, diamond, blue diamond, and presidential diamond. You can see the different income levels that are achievable. Um, and, and what this is, is growing um, a network of people who are doing the same things that you're doing, using essential oils for health and wellness for themselves and their family. And in doing so, you're able to establish a pipeline um, over time. And it can be very, very freeing for uh, time freedom and financial freedom. I, for one, have uh, chosen to leave my full-time employment. Um, I worked for corporate America for 15 years or so, um, and I had felt a strong pull to share essential oils with as many people as possible. And the corporate environment was becoming less and less um, appetizing to me, and I decided to make the choice to do this as a full-time occupation. And it is incredibly rewarding to be able to change other people's lives in the same way. And if you're curious and want to learn more, please just reach out to the person who introduced you and they will be happy to discuss it with you. Something to consider. If you are interested in time freedom, financial freedom, and living a more fulfilling life, this is something that you probably want to learn about. So in 2020, we are sharing with you an amazing curriculum of targeted health support uh, in the form of educational videos. This is one of them, and it is part of a series including Cleanse and Restore for Weight Management, Hormones, Emotional, or I'm sorry, Emotions and Mood Management, Pain, Inflammation, and Fitness, Green Living, Healthy from the Inside Out, that's a liver detox, Bathroom Makeover, Respiratory Health, Immune Health, Healthy Children and Babies, Cellular Health, Self-Care is Healthcare, Digestive Health, and then we do also have some great electives sprinkled in, including DIYs, 
pet health, pregnancy and postpartum, and hair care. So we have so much cool content to share with you. And the beauty of it is it will be available um, at your discretion. We're not going to hold anything back. Um, we just want it to be out there so that you can consume as much of the information you want on your timeline. And if you have somebody who you think would be interested in any one of these topics, you'll be able to share that information. Um, so it's really super, um, it'll, it should be super helpful and um, very exciting for you guys. So I hope you're, you're ready for an awesome 2020. Um, and as you check off each one of these classes and um, let the person know that introduced you to oils that you have participated in these videos, um, you'll be able to hand in this little, um, little sheet um, proving that and then you will earn a prize, which is really, really cool. Um, so that's it, you guys. Digestive health. Um, and how it can, oops, we're going through these, how it can help support um, a really uh, improved quality of life on so many levels. Uh, lots of great products, lots of great um, ideas and healthy lifestyle tips are available to you. So please just reach out to the person who introduced you to oils and decide how you'd like to participate in that information. Um, for new um, people who don't have a membership yet, you want to get started with one of the enrollment kits, or you can kind of choose your own adventure with a membership and a spread of oils. Uh, and if you do already have a membership, I'm highly recommending that you uh, start using your loyalty rewards program so that you can get rewarded for making healthy choices. All right, thank you so much.